friend Par Parmita, she, uh, she's working on a film on homelessness over in India and uh, she requested some songs put on the soundtrack so uh, I thought I'd sit down with the big drum and, and record something, see how it turns out. Just have a good time here. A little fun. See how it goes.
in the morning December the 25th 2020 and uh, it, was, it was like five years ago I had this idea to do some videos and and uh, <coughs> talk talk about the the old Buffalo survival school and uh where we're going with it and uh this is this vision i had uh back in, i don't know 20 25 something like that so it's like you know 15 years ago uh that that at some point uh you know in the future when the situation ran its course that I was in at that point, which, uh, you know, eventually uh, moved moved to, like, I, I went through foreclosure at, like, 30 acres of land that I was living on and, and I'd been doing ceremony and, and so forth. And, and uh, <clears throat> I had a mortgage, so... Went through foreclosure in 2007 and, and uh, uh, I had to move away. And, uh, but, you know, prior prior to that losing the, you know, the property, the foreclosure, uh, this, this vision was there that, that things would run their course and I would be able to to put together uh, this space where people, you know, they, they like young people that that would be uh, become healers, be healers. Um, you know, they, they would need some assistance in kind of jump starting um, their work and. Uh, you know, the, the, I was in this space where, the, you know, it, it had been a healing village and uh, it was like a dream. I had maybe back in 1994 where I, where I was shown that this space had been a healing village, which was was a a village intended for young people to come and learn. Uh, so, so it was, you know, it was a a place where people were were coming for for healing, and there were healers there. There were people, the medicine men, medicine women, you know, that they could do the healing ceremonies. But also, it was like this school. You know, it was like a place where uh, uh, young people could come from all over and, and walk to this place within eastern United States or, you know, however long you want to walk from wherever. But, uh, you know, this, this was like, this space was like uh, very attuned to, to this process and, and uh, so I was I was in the space and, and and then you know my journey is like uh, foreclosure and being homeless and and right now I'm living in this this uh, this apartment which is in public housing so so uh, for a while I had you know no income and and uh, I was I was like 
living here for free, rent free, because I had no income and, and uh, you know, a friend was helping me out with a little bit of money, so, you know, there's a little bit of money helping out, you know, which uh, goes on record and so forth. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm like uh, riding, riding out this process, but the dream is still there, and, and it was like, you know, let's do some videos and talk about some stuff. And, uh, you know, so at some point in the future, as, as things manifest again in, in this reality where that space is accessible again, which is a white man reality scene that I'm not going to talk about, but, uh, you know, so far it's a white man. I mean, you know, we don't know what's next, but uh, <laughs> that's a good joke, eh? Uh, yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was like this this process of like going through these seven challenges of being a, a Cherokee medicine man. And challenge number six was about um, being able to, you know, it, it was like, what whatever you know this person that would come for healing that had disease whatever disease came through you know the challenge is to be able to respond to that disease and so over time this is like you know kind of a you know as each Cherokee medicine man that that would step up step come forward and 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 uh be in this challenge, you know, the, the, you know, whatever the times were, the, the, you know, the disease that was, that was, that was prominent of, of that time, you know, that they, they would, you know, I call it break the code, um, it's, it's sort of like computer, you know, uh, programming, you know, being the nerd that I am. Um, <laughs> so so uh, here I am in the sixth challenge, uh, which is to, to to be able to respond to whatever comes through. Uh, you know, I I can respond to things like broken bones that are you know it's not too technical. You know, we 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 do this time bubble and and. You know where, where we just have time happen faster, than, uh, you know, in in that little bubble where the bone is broken or whatever. You just like, is is like you're bending time, you know, um, and uh, you know so forth. So here's, you know, these these people that that are coming through and and need a healing, uh, depression. Uh, so so it's so it's like physical, you know, bam, a broken bone or or depression, uh, cancer. Um, you know, these these are like they've been dealt with already in the past. You know, so these are these are just like okay, you know, let's let's work with these. Uh, uh, so one of, one of them was diabetes. You know, nobody's broken the code yet, so so it was like working through and and, and you know uh, under, understanding like with with some diseases you look to like if if this is a disease that's caused by an animal and uh, you know I'm, I, w I would talk about the how the chipmunk got its white stripes. Uh, in terms of each, you know, each animal, if you disrespect that animal, uh, if humans are, are not honoring this, this agreement we have with the animals, uh, that particular animal has a disease that, that it's going to inflict upon the humans. You know, as a reminder, we have an agreement here and we should be uh, keeping things in balance and so forth. So, so with uh, Diabetes, you know, it was like, okay, this this is like a violation of this agreement that we have. 
um, with, with this animal and having this conversation with this animal and then being able to, to heal a person with diabetes and uh, you know as, as I'm going through this like dialogue with with this this uh, you know it's like the the animal and and it's sort of like there's this collective group of of you know allies helpers uh, associates uh, you know in the spiritual realm that that's like on the other side of the altar you know it's, it's like this is my role in this process of, of like uh, being able to to dialogue and, and uh, uh, it's, it's like this word uh, stewardship you know, the stewardship, you know, the part of the the role of, of the healer is, you know, with this altar is to be a good steward uh, in terms of that relationship between what, you know, the energy that's on the other side of the altar that comes through and and the person that's healing, you know, needs the healing and so forth. I'm, I'm like the in intermediary in this relationship and and uh, I have a neighbor outside talking right now in the middle of the night whatever um so yeah so so af after you know this person goes back to their doctor and you know is this conversation like they were on insulin and the doctor's saying you know there's no medical history of, of a person who went went on insulin to treat their diabetes being able to come off of their diabetes and uh you know but but this person was able to, to no longer uh, i mean you know come off their insulin you know they they were no no longer uh needing to take insulin and uh you know they're the blood sugar was fine and everything was working okay. So so going through that healing process and you know the hepatitis C was, was another one and uh, you know being able to uh, assist that person and, uh, and then um, HIV which which was like in 2006 so I was I was like already in this I was in I was in like the seventh challenge at that point which was like starting to you know everything was unraveling you lose everything and, and survive by wit for seven years and and so I was I was already into that but here comes the person with HIV and uh, you know I'm going through that part and and I was like, you know, it's like, wow, this is this is like really cool, and and you know, here's this opportunity to, you know, it's like, I mean, I'm just one person. There's so much of, you know, humanity struggling with these diseases, and uh, you know, it's it's like, but but I'm in this space that, you know. Is, is like kind of blessed in this way of like people will come and learn how to do these things and go out and, and be able to help others and, and to alleviate this human suffering that we're in but you know when, when I would pray about it and say you know what's going on here and it's like you know it's not time it's not time yet and uh, you know, so so this is like my my process, my journey going through these, you know, this challenge, and uh, so in in going all the way through and completing the seventh challenge and and just surviving and you know, so being at this point where like in in the old days, you know, when when a person has been. Uh, sent away from the village for seven years and survives and comes back and uh, 
you know, this is like white man reality where, okay, uh, there's no village to come back to, you know, in terms of like the way it was uh, a few hundred years ago here. So, so it's, so it's like, I'm, I'm like in this limbo reality of like, this is what I would be doing. Um, but, you know, at this, in this time, in this time, I can't do that. And I can't just go back to the village and yo, and let's, let's get busy, you know, doing this work now. So I'm, I'm like, you're in public housing. Um, and, uh, you know, but, but I would, I would pray about it and they're like, it's not time to do this. So, so, and, you know, I look back and it's like, okay, but I'm really like, you know, hey, I, I still want to talk about it, you know, so I, I could sit here and talk to the, there's no red dot on this camera, I call it talking to the red dot, you know, it's like some video recorders, there's a little red dot there that says we're, we're rolling. I hope we're rolling because I'm talking really good. But, uh, so I'm um, like here and, and, you know, a few years ago, it was like, uh, one of the things that came up was, was, you know, my, my daughter had endometriosis and, and, uh, you know, it was, it was like, okay, there's, there's these, you know, conflicts of like reality and, and, you know, but still yet, can we, can we address this? And, and uh, so I, you know, we talked about it and, and uh, you know, it was like endometriosis as, as we like look at what's going on inside her body and, and uh, you know, there's, there's like this gluten that's not getting broken down in the, in the small intestine. And then it, it goes into her, her uterus and during uh, her menstrual cycle and, and and uh, so this embryo attaches to the to the to this gluten protein because it you know in some way it resembles uh, uh, you know the, the fetus or whatever and and so uh, then then you know it comes back out of the bloodstream and the autoimmune system recognizes it as a, as a fatty tissue and so it sends it into the intestines to, to reside because you're a fatty tissue and that's what you know the body's doing in there uh, under normal circumstances but this embry embryo t you know stuff is like it rapidly it grows real rapid and, and so this is like affecting uh, you know what's going on with a woman that's like having having this situation occur. So I was like, well, there's there's like two things that that we can address, and one is I'm talking talking really long, so so my camera only records for 15 minutes, so I'm doing good here. So uh, yeah, so so here's the this. Endometriosis stuff going on, and and so it's it's like that that procedure is is like not like there's there's a an animal concern in in this this is this is like a couple of things because it's like gluten has been an important. Um, gluten has been an important uh, nutrient in, in human evolution, you know, to, to have plant protein, uh, to be able to digest plant protein. So, so uh, which one of them is gluten? So, uh, so, so it was like going through and, and understanding this, this is going to be like addressing, one, it's like the DNA. You know, it's like tweak the DNA a little bit, and uh, you know, go go at it from that position, and then also, uh, um, you know, the autoimmune system being able to to like 
work with that person's vibrations and, and inform the body immune system that gluten is not fat. So, so and that worked, you know, so, so it was like working with my daughter and addressing that. And, and again, it's like, you know, there's, there's like millions of women that, that struggle and suffer. And it's like, wow, this, you know, how do we, how do we like bring this forward? And it's like, well, it's not time. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm like needing to address this with, within my journey and my space, but human beings aren't ready. And, and it's sort of like, oh man, you know, like y'all get, get your shit together, okay? Because cause it's, it's like there's people suffering and they could, they could really utilize that. But, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the things that, that is kind of like in the struggle of, of like, you know, this, this is my journey and this is my work and this is, you know, the, a success story on that level. But this alignment that needs to occur for, the, for this information to come forward and be utilized and and for young people to to have that ability and opportunity to come and and, and learn you know they they have a gift and and there's been years of you know this century of of like uh uh oppression and so you know uh, repression depression you know, that, that the economic structure of what's in this reality right now is not conducive to to allowing young people to, you know, or, you know, medicine people to work. So, that that's, feels like it's shifting, you know, it's, it's like COVID-19 is, is happening and, and there's a message about not, you know, this is a result of not treating animals with respect and uh, you know so so it's like this response in this reality is is we'll make a chemical that that alleviates this concern and uh, so because of science and, and and this this ability to create a chemical that alleviates this this concern Humans don't have to get it, you know. We don't have to understand this relationship that we we need to maintain with humans, and I mean with animals, in order to be on this planet. So it's it's like is it, you know the crisis, the crisis is is our um, like our collective comprehension of who we are and where we're at here in this reality. And uh, so, <coughs> you know, as, as I do my, my work and my journey, and then I'll look at like this collective consciousness that's happening here. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's, so there's a lot of work to be done. You know, I'm doing my part, but... It's about who you are. That it's about, about who you are. That is what we have. The the real work. You know, it's like, that's the real work. So you know. I, I don't know if I've talked about the kitchen yet, but you know, this is just a kitchen talk. Peace and love. Where the coyotes yell, the 